Hello and welcome to You can take it off. Welcome to Late Lounge with Sydney Sherman. A bit of an unusual episode of uh, Late Lounge tonight. Uh, Sydney is not here. We were um, doing the run through this morning and uh, Sydney collapsed. Um, he was, we don't know that yet. It's early on. Uh, he was uh, rushed to the hospital, uh, Cedar Sinai, Cedar Sinai in uh, Beverly Hills. Um, they've got a great team there. They're taking great care of him. He's going to be fine. Uh, but for this week, um, no yet. <laughs> he's going to be fine, Jake. You take the, take the, Dad would not like the goggles. We are hosting, uh, I'm Benny Sherman, his son, this is my brother Jake. Uh, so, uh, tonight we are uh, going to be hosting another episode of Late Lounge. Uh, you may notice the suit, it's a little bit unusual. Um, you've probably heard, a lot of people have been hurt in the past couple of weeks on our show. The trades have been calling it a curse. Uh, I don't really go in for that kind of stuff, but... Jake was feeling a little bit torn up, so we're wearing the suits. They're curse-proof, so we won't be we won't be cursed. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, just to make sure that the set is fully cleansed before we bring in any guests tonight, and we have a heck of a show for you. We got a real treat. Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cleanse the show. Uh, so first, we're gonna bring out Brooklyn's funniest priest. His name is Giuseppe Vermicelli. No, 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 priest. It's like a bit. What are you gonna do? Just roll with it, Jake. Come on. Hey, Giuseppe. All right, Giuseppe, have you ever, have you ever done a cleansing before? <laughs> I've done many an exorcism, my friend. I, I love the exorcism, but I don't like the green pea soup. Uh, it's not really a time to make jokes. I want to help you with your uh, studio, and maybe the first thing we could do is uh, change the lighting. <laughs> Uh, we don't have time to cleanse the whole set, but I, I've I've been told that you have the blueprints blueprints for the set. Yes, boys, I brought the blueprints for the set, and I will go grab them now, and I'm going to cleanse them in some holy guacamole water. <laughs> holy water right? Jake's done. Jake, can you can you smile? There you go. Give us a big smile. Show us the teeth. Thank you. All right. You ready, Giuseppe? You ready to cleanse? This is going to cleanse the whole building. Absolutely. Uh, by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost with the most. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that he's... Uh, what is that? I've prepared the blueprints with uh, a little bit of Elka Seltzer. <laughs> Letterman. Uh, yeah. What? Now I will dip it into the holy water. We didn't clear this. With the drink. Bam! <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right. As I told you guys. We have a real treat for you tonight. Okay, we weren't really allowed to watch this show growing up, it, except with one with one person, our father Sydney would let us stay up, and that was whenever Jackie Scooter was on because this guy was special and he knew it. Okay, this guy has been called the king of television suicides. He's been doing it for years. He's been on all the shows. I'm sure you've seen it. Let's hear it for him, Jackie Scooter. Come on, Jackie. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, Jackie, I have heard that you got your start back on the Carson show in 92. Is that true? That's true. I heard you committed suicide, and they were one of the few TV suicides where they asked you back to the couch. Is that correct? Can I say it was a good suicide? This guy has committed so many suicides. But he's here tonight for a very special television event. He is going to be recreating the largest recreation of Bud Dwyer's suicide that has ever happened. 
Yeah. Can we? Do you, you ready, Jake? We so we got a little bit of surprise ba- surprise for you. I know it's not Thursday, but we got a little bit of a throwback Thursday for you. Oh, this isn't what I think it is. Yes, is it? it is. A recording of his very first suicide at age nine. <laughs> Do, can we get the audio from that? I was so green. Hey, Jackie. Jackie, it's dinner time. This is amazing. He's nine years old at this point. This is dead. Oh my God. Jackie. Why would you? He's oh, discovering God. the body here. Lord, where's my phone? Why would you do this? Marissa! Marissa, get out of here! Jackie! Oh my God. Jackie, my son! Marissa! Jackie! You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Marissa! 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 Do you want to get Red Robin? <laughs> say something? There are a lot of people who commit suicide on television, but few people turn it into an art form the way that you do. Would you, would you disagree with that? Would you agree with that? And he's modest, too. Can we hear it for him? Can we hear it for him? As I said, we, the, tonight is a very special event. It's going to be the largest recreation of the suicide of Bud Dwyer. If, if anybody here doesn't know Bud Dwyer, it's one of the first viral videos. Can we hear it for viral videos? <laughs> Politician outside of Pittsburgh who uh, apparently had embezzled some money and he committed suicide. Uh, great video, ton of fun. It's out on Blu-ray now. Uh, but today we're doing it bigger. We're, I'm sure, as someone who commits suicide on TV, your whole life you're chasing Dwyer. Is that correct? Well, you know, you watch these people on TV and you uh, you never know, you never think that you're going to be an equal to them at some point in your life. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. An equal, you're going to do him one better because every single thing he is doing today is going to be bigger. <laughs> and to prove it, we have an officiator from Guinness Book of World Records, Mr. Charles Riley. Come on over, Charles. Hey. Hey, Charles, it must be fantastic working at Guinness. You get the beer straight from the tap. Pulling your leg. <laughs> So uh, we just need you to confirm that everything that is happening with the suicide is bigger. So can, can we just get everything? Here, we, we'll pull it out. The manila envelope in the, in the Bud Dwyer suicide, he pulled the gun from a manila envelope. Can we just confirm? This is a pretty big envelope. Check the contents inside. Yeah, and can you, let's just confirm the contents. Big. Can I, can I bring it out? You could, well, we'll wait. Let's, can you just wait. give a thumbs up to the camera as a... There we go. All right, Guinness gives it the thumbs up. We're halfway there. Now, we have the world's expert in suicide identification, Dr. Elto Reed. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Now, doctor, do you believe that you will be able to confirm that he has successfully committed suicide? Well, yes, I am the world's most renowned suicide practitioner. I studied at Johns Hopkins for anesthesiology with a minor in euthanasia. I am in the coveted 500 club. That is 500 suicides presided over and confirmed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also have a four out of five on Yelp and Zapka. Thank you again. And I'd just like to say, uh, pleasure to meet you, but we have met before. Uh, I presided over your suicide back in Detroit in 94. And I have to say, after you fell off the top of the GM building, you were more of a Jackson Pollock than a Jackie Scooter, am I right? (laughs) This guy, am I right? And he's funny too. (laughs) Can you actually confirm he's dead though? You'll be able to confirm he's dead? Okay, great. You know, when people say suicide's like pornography, you know when you see it. So, are you ready? You ready to do the world's largest recreation of Bud Dwyer suicide? Let's do this. Yes! Allow me to make this. This is chilling. Super official. Can you, you could, I mean, you could call Dad right now and just check that hospital that he's okay. He's taken care of, okay? When Dad's changing. Dad is going to be very upset when he sees that you ruined his show. He's, in, but, you know, we can't he's fine. He's fine. He's built like a tank, Dad. How many heart attacks has Dad had? It's not going to be a suicide. We'll talk 
Can you confirm that it's a large suit? Okay. Larger than Bud Dwyer. Okay. He has a larger suit than Bud Dwyer had. Pant size? Can we get a pant size confirmation? Do you got a number on the waist? Yeah, that's a 49 large. 49 large. Wide. Wide. All right. Big we got a larger big suit. Big oh, and to one up Bud Dwyer, he also embezzled more money than Bud Dwyer. $13 million. All right, are you ready? Oh, last thing. Hate to ruin any television equipment here. Wow. Let's do this. All right, present the envelope. Confirmation. Yeah! Oh, really the best. Really the best. <laughs> <laughs> that this has been the, the biggest recreation of Bud Dwyer's suicide ever performed on TV. There has been a lot of recreations of Bud Dwyer's suicide, but they've never been this big. Bullet's too small. Oh, no! A smaller bullet than Bud Dwyer. Oh. Everything else oh. is larger. So close! I told you we shouldn't have done this show. Look what you did. You think Dad's going to see it's going to I'm telling Sydney this was... Who, can, who pulled the bullet? What's going on, Jay? Dad's dead. Well, um, I guess this was the the late lounge with uh, well, now with Benny and Jake. Sure, sure, right with us, huh? This has been the, this has been the late lounge. Sydney Sherman. <laughs> can you ho can you host again next week? He's week? dead. No, the show is over. We're done. Dad had like there's no three, Dad had like a three year contract. 